Hi there, my name is Michael Anderson. I'm the youth development worker at Hillsborough Presbyterian Church. And this week for Mental Health Week, we have put together a series of stories read by some of our youth and children's leaders and volunteers. Stories from the Bible, which help us understand that when we feel nervous or anxious, God is with us and that we can talk to people in our lives, whether that's our parents, our teachers, people in church who care for us and love us. And most importantly, we can talk to God about how we feel. And today, as it's the last day, I thought I would share the last story with you. And today it's taken from the Jesus Storybook Bible, and it's called God Sends Help. And it's the story uh, of Jesus's friends when he left them and went up to heaven, how they were scared, how they were nervous and anxious. And this is the story of how God sent help to them. God sends help. Jesus' friends and helpers huddled together in a stuffy upstairs room. Even though it was sunny outside, the shutters were closed, the door was locked. Wait in Jerusalem, Jesus had told them. I am going to send you a special present. God's power is going to come into you. God's Holy Spirit is coming. So here they were, waiting. Actually, mostly what they were doing was just being scared and hiding. You can't blame them. Their best friend had left. The important people and leaders were after them. And Jesus had given them a job they didn't know how to do. As they waited, they were praying and remembering. Remembering how from the beginning God had been working out his secret rescue plan. Suddenly, a strong wind filled the little room, whistling through the walls, rustling the straw on the floor, and there on everyone's heads, shining in the gloom, were flickering flames. Fire that didn't hurt or burn. And something more, inside in their hearts they felt a strange heat, almost as if all the coldness and hardness was melting away. As if their broken hearts were mending and God was giving them brand new hearts, hearts that could work properly. How it happened they didn't know but they knew God's power had struck their hearts ablaze and Jesus himself was coming to live inside them. They had seen Jesus go away but now he was closer than he ever had been inside their hearts. And this time, nothing could ever separate them. Jesus would always be there with them, loving them. Whispering the promise that would get rid of the poison and the terrible lie and the sickness in their hearts. God's wonderful promise to them. You are my child and I love you. Make your home in me as I make my home in you, Jesus had said. Could it be heaven was coming into their hearts? They threw open the shutters. Sunlight flooded through their room as love had flooded their hearts. And the little room was filled with happy noises, dancing feet, singing and laughing. They unlocked the door and surged out into the streets as if they had never been afraid. Peter spoke in a loud voice so everyone could hear. Jesus died for you, he said, because he loves you. But God made him alive again. He has rescued you. People stopped and listened. The words sank down deep into their hearts and worked like a medicine that makes you well. Like the antidote to a deadly poison. Like a kiss that wakes you from a deep sleep. Stop running away from God, Peter said. Run to him instead so he can love you and make you free. And Peter told them the wonderful story of God's love. God's never stopping, never giving up, unbreaking, always and forever love. How Jesus had come, all that had happened. There were lots of people from faraway countries in Jerusalem. They couldn't speak the same language, but as they listened to Peter, 
everyone could understand what he was saying in their own languages. Many people believed and became Jesus's new friends and helpers. And the wonderful news of Jesus spread like sparks from a fire to villages, towns and cities. Every day, more and more people believed. And so it was that the family of God's children, his special people, grew. One man was watching. I'll stop this, Saul said. But this was God's plan. And nothing in all the world would be able to stop it. So that's the story of how God sends his spirit to us to be within us. And we can be friends with God and friends with Jesus. And so when we feel anxious or nervous, we can talk to him because he is always with us. Thank you for joining us through these stories over the last few days. I pray and hope that they have blessed you. Thanks. Thank you.